When you want to make smarter money decisions, Lending Tree can help. With the Lending Tree app, you can track your finances, compare loans, and find the best rates for you. Plus, get personalized tips to cut monthly bills and reach your goals. See why thousands of people turn to Lending Tree every day to make their finances smarter, easier, better. Download the free Lending Tree app now to make sure you're not leaving money on the table. Terms and conditions may apply. NMLS number 1136. It's JCPenney's Labor Day home sale, and the deals are hot. Get up to 50% off select furniture, mattresses, and window, and refresh every room in the house. Plus, shop doorbusters Friday to Monday while they last, like $6.99 select field crest bath towels and a Black & Decker food processor or a George Foreman grill, only $39.99 each. Or save an extra 25% with coupon across the store. Hurry and bring it all home for less. JCPenney. Doorbusters valid 9 3 to 9 6 and excluded from coupon. Offers and coupon valid through 9 6. Some exclusions apply. See store or jcp.com for details. You like easy money? Well, thanks to my bookie and their lock of the season. If either team scores in the NFL season opener, you win. A game hasn't ended 0 0 since, well, World War II, so this is a sure thing. Head to mybookie.ag, select the lock of the season, and any team scores between the Cowboys and Tampa Bay Bucks, and you win! The best bet is the one you cannot lose. My bookie is also playing host to several exclusive contests, including their one hundred thousand dollar super contest, and it only costs ten dollars to enter. There's big money on the line this season, so don't wait to get in the game. Join now. Head to mybookie.ag today and use our promo code ZABE and instantly receive double your first deposit. That's right, double your funds to double your winnings. Again, that's promo code ZABE, Charlie, Zulu, Alpha, Bravo, Echo, and receive double your first deposit and get started with MyBookie today. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with MyBookie. Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, one, one. You are looking live at a sold-out Memorial Stadium in Columbia. What the hell is this game? What the hell is this game? You stopped it up! You stopped it up! And every single swinging guy starts with teams. Let's hit it rolling now. Let's earn this thing today. This is NFL, which stands for not for long when you make the calls. Yeah. I'll be selling groceries. They shot me in Denver. You will not! You will not! Oh, yes. The NFL season, and more importantly, the college football season is upon us at another Football Friday here on the ZabeCast. We get right into it out of the gates in 2021 by bringing on my football partner in crime. You know him as Mr. X. College. We record this Thursday night. There's a game tonight involving big name teams. And then we've got games this weekend all the way through to Labor Day. And we're one week away from Tommy Boy taking on Dak, Buccaneers, and Cowboys. Let's go make some money, Mr. X. What do you say? Oh, that's the plan. Tonight's actually, I'm sorry, last night after the It's actually a very big night. You can it's call it. Overnight. Is it a rover and overnight? Okay. Well, we're recording yes. this prior to the game going off. So let's just tell people about the rover and over as we say hello and welcome to a Friday Zabecast. It's football Friday. Mr. X is with me. You can find him at just call me Mr. X. Actually, call me Mr. X dot com. And an right. email is just call me Mr. X at Verizon dot net. Verizon dot net. Very good. Yeah. OK, so rover and over is a rare play. Although we seem to get a couple of those every yeah, year. Yeah. And and the rover and over is a college play only. Well, the theory is a, it could happen anytime, but it is more likely to happen in college. Has that it ever crazy. happened in the pros? Sure. It's been a while. Okay. But it, it, let's put it this way. By the time this airs, 
if, if this doesn't go well tonight, tomorrow's one of those days. If you call me, I might answer the phone in Spanish. <laughs> no, no, no. A senior no, X is no, 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 no. I don't know. My, my Spanish is horrible. It's not existent is what it is. So uh, Rover means dog, and the over is self-explanatory. You take the dog, and you take the over. And I know people are going, duh, I've gambled before. But no, you take the dog and the over in a particular fashion. What is it, and what's the logic behind it? Well, the, the logic is this. Um, once you get where the point spread is getting too close to the total. So for example, tonight we have like Buffalo laying like 44 and the game total is 54. Okay. Buffalo is minus 44 against who? I where? couldn't tell you. <laughs> what? Doesn't matter. But I'm pulling for them. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, Mr. I don't X. Care. Doesn't matter. Wow, uh, you you're looking you're They're shooting playing, your uh, credibility here. Not at all. Yes, you because are. This theory works if I can't pronounce the team. But you don't even know the team. I, okay. It is um, <laughs> it's one of those schools you say, I didn't know they had a team. I think it's Wagner. <laughs> I think it's Wagner. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking it up right now. Anyway, so the total is 54. The spread is 44. Meaning right. you have a ripe opportunity to do what with both of those things? Well, and here's the, here's the theory. In, in, as you know, in a game, you have four possible outcomes. Wagner. Like Buffalo, is, Buffalo last night or tonight played yeah. Wagner on ESPN3. Okay. Now, the, the point is you usually have four outcomes. Favorite and over, favorite and under, dog and over, dog and under. But my theory years ago is... And each of those choices or outcomes should give you a, a, a one in four shot of hitting. You know, they're all equal. But there's no way that you can convince me that if you take Buffalo, the favorite, and have to win by more than 44, you could feel good about trying to stay under 54. How would you feel with that position? And the answer is not good. No. There's no way that's a 25% chance of happening. So what I say is, if if it's if you can't really hit that little tiny window, I will always take the points, take the over, and most of the time you go one and one, and that's okay, because when you go two and zero, oh, it's a twenty to one payout virtually, and it's worth the shot. Now, when you take the total there and and subtract it, so you go fifty four minus forty four, it gives you ten, divided by two. And that's the magic number your dog has to find a way to get to guarantee you don't lose. So tonight it's five. If, Buff, if uh, Wagner can get us a five spot, we're golden. That's just math. It doesn't mean that's why I don't even care. It means either. you're golden in terms of not losing. Can't lose. You can't, can't lose. lose. You, you lose Buffalo the vig. Once puts up a six, you can lose your vig. But if you win, you win 20 times the vig. That's a that is a, a payday that is better than anything we do the rest of the year. All right. So wouldn't then any game in which the spread is within say ten points of sure. the total, yep. you just play it? Anytime you're comfortable with that number, saying yeah, I can get me to five. <laughs> um, what, you know, what, number, in, in what number? What number? What number with a bad team would you be uncomfortable for them getting to? Ten, nine, eight. Oh gosh, no, I wouldn't. Seven. I wouldn't go that high. No, nope, I wouldn't go that high. It can happen. I, anything under six, I'll pound without if I can't spell the school. Okay. Uh, get me right around a seven, I'll probably play it. Get over a touchdown, yeah. it doesn't really fit. I, I agree because you think surely they'll score a touchdown. Uh, 58 to three later, no, they did not score a touchdown. Yeah. Well, Bottom line is there's a tiny window that, that is the, the dreaded 0-2, but it is small. Now, you could get a higher one, Zabe, if you don't get, like, these crazy little school mismatches. Like, let's say you have a big uh, big 12 shootout when maybe the number's 12, but you say, oh, this team can score. They're going to get me the 12. Then you could still do it. But I will do it sight unseen on these little, little ass schools as long as you get me down under the six. Okay. I'm going to mybookie.com. I'm firing in Rover and over. On Buffalo, the Bulls, minus 44 
over the go. Wagner Seahawks of Staten Island, New York. Let's take a look at last at year's. What's that? While you're at it, scroll down to Arizona State. You got the same thing tonight. Two or last night. Rover and Overs. Yep. Okay. Uh, by the way, I'm looking at uh, Wagner last year uh, at Central Connecticut State, postponed. At Miami, postponed. At Merrimack, postponed. They didn't play a game last year, <laughs> old yeah. Wagner. As a, as many teams, not many, but at least a handful of teams played nothing. A bunch of college teams played a small chunk. We're out of exercise when it comes to betting on college because last year was so jacked up. We don't need exercise for the Rover and Over. All we need is them to not lose 49 nothing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now I've now I've got a reason to go find out how to how to, how to watch ESPN three. I have no yes. idea where you get it. Yeah. I'll find it later. But you know, I don't even like to watch those. You spend all night just watching Wagner try to get a get a score or a mistake or something. What you're hoping for is you know that the 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 big team just you know calls off the dogs and puts in the subs and you know anything. we'll see. Anyway. Yeah. Do we have a do we have a historical number since we've been touting the rover and over? You have been touting the rover rover and over. Do we have a historical number on how it is done, both two and O's, one and ones, and how many times, if ever, it crashed? O and two. I I can't give you. I know Clemson had a horrible beat last year where they were up forty nine nothing in the half, had to get to fifty four, and the second half was scoreless. Oh, but um, God. so it can happen, but. It's rare. I will say this. When I post Rover and Overs to the boys on the website, I mean, they, that's when they just, you know, want to come mow my lawn. It wins most more <laughs> often than anything. All right. So where do we get – you want to begin with college. You want to begin with pros. What do you want to do? You want to set our records on – let's go ahead and put our records from the last let's couple of years out there so people know what we've done. This is all documented, and you get a good feel for where we're both at. Okay. Here's what here's what I got. The first year we did this in 2018, the Zabe was make, picking one lock a week, and he went 11 and six. Pretty good. Which sounds great, and it is great, but you were 11 and one, and then kind of just yeah, that's true. I was home. 11 and one, yeah. and you crushed me. I was a paltry 59 percent in year one, and we both killed it. What's 11 and six, Math Wizard? Uh, uh, sixty-five. Okay. I'm gonna. Yep. So it was awesome. Now, wait, then, here, here's sorry. a here's a dumb question. Let's say I'm really betting and I go eleven and one. Shouldn't I stop for the season? Absolutely not. <laughs> Why not? So, that's a guy in the casino who like wins the first roll and says, "Okay, I'm going home." That's like okay, Zabe. I would put it this way: If you were in college, no, no, my question. If you were in college and you got laid the first month, would you never go out again and call it a year? Don't you want to win? <laughs> yeah, but don't you want to win money? <laughs> you got to keep playing. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I, I I did preface it by saying this might be a dumb question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So after crushing the first year, and then it went nine and two in the playoffs. You and I got smart, and I flew out to West Las Vegas and entered us in the Westgate contest for year two. And in year two, you turn, turned right around and went 15 and 28 at 35 percent. Down we went in the Westgate. 15 and 28. And I didn't do much better that year. I was only about 53 percent. So we joined the Westgate. We couldn't sniff 500. We were god awful. Wait, you said about. Can you give me your actual record? Uh, 26 and 23. Okay. Uh, by the way, my first year was 64.7%. That's even after crashing, after going 11 and 1 out of the gates. So the so year two, I started picking more games. Yep. Me, me thinks that might be part of my problem. Well, you didn't just pick more games. You had a new format every week. <laughs> I got a new format. I was all over the place. It was, that's, it another was pro- that's another problem. Like, whatever your gambling strategy is, Stick with it, right? Unless well, it's not working, then shake it I don't up. Know. I'm a, you know, I'm always a person that has a lot of rules that you should never break. And then people send me the note and I always say, well, this is why I'm breaking it yeah. this time. Right. So this I is, do break my own rules the exception that proves the rule. Watch this. Yeah. <laughs> Hold my beer. Yeah. All right. So, so year number so – by the way, how, was our, how are our playoff numbers 
in each of those Oh, I still years. crushed the playoffs that year. Are you going to list uh, those? Uh, well, I went eight and three that year in the playoffs. Well, let's go orderly, logically. Okay. You and me, year one, playoffs. What did we do? You were eight and three. I was nine and two. Fucking A good. Yeah. When it really mattered, when you were desperate to catch up at the end of the year, the master yep. went nine and two and the kid went eight and three. Combined yep. a blistering seventeen and five. Do we ever overlap on those picks? Well, yeah, I mean there was only eleven Super, playoff games. Yeah. So we, yeah, of course we, we overlapped did. on pretty much all of them. All right. So anyway, our our average, if you averaged them out, we're we're really yeah. good. Okay. Year two playoffs what do we do yeah year two we were bad and you did better than your 35 percent regular season in the playoffs <laughs> yeah. you smoked up to five and six <laughs> okay and i went eight and three okay again all right yeah, that's so that good again. but but that was not a good year that was the whole westgate chance we were terrible but last year last year you picked one lock a week and again went 11 and six did i yep and you went 57% overall, because last year you were picking whatever you felt like, two, three, four, different number of games, but each week you designated one as your... Okay, so my locks were 11 and 6, but then I threw in some sprinkles, and the sprinkles right. brought down my average to 53%. Yeah. yeah, you had to prove you were human, right. Okay, again, I'm sensing maybe I should stick to one pick a week. Oh, you can afford to win more than that. <laughs> <laughs> You're evil. Okay, your regular season number last year was? Uh, last year on your show, I only hit 54%. Okay. Now, I want to say something, and I mean this truly. Mr. X picks games for sport and entertainment on Thursday afternoon, so this podcast is fresh in your inbox Friday morning. That is not when Mr. X bets NFL games or anyone with a brain actually fires in on NFL games. It is on Sunday mornings when you have the latest and the most information, correct? That That's true. It, it's always a hard thing to say because it does sound slimy, but there's a heck of a difference between rolling out something on Thursday morning and yeah. then on Friday, Saturday yeah. going, yeah, okay, that's going to be different right. now. But they, uh, this is good, though. We are actually telling you exactly what we've done the last couple of years, and I'm impressed that you were able to uh, get all the accounting on this because, holy shit, I was all over the place. You were more consistent. Playoffs last year, what were our numbers? Um, playoffs last year, I went 11, 2, and 1. You were smoking in the playoffs. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think that actually includes the NCAA championship in there because that's one extra game. And you were pretty good, too. I had you at eight and five so not bad but by the way last year i went because we couldn't repeat the westgate because covid time no flying to vegas you have to be in person to enter there is no um you know kind of do it from afar option and i thought about having one guy i know in vegas enter for us and then i thought wait we're gonna win how many million and he's never gonna answer my text again so we didn't do it yeah um, but I tracked it the same way we did it the year before, and we were good again. We hit 59%. We would have come in 22nd in, the, in Westgate, which would only want us about 10 dimes. We'd have had to fly out there to pick it up, though. That would have been annoying. <laughs> I'd fly out there for a dime, <laughs> much less 10. <laughs> I'd fly out just for the sport of it. <laughs> That's right. So, of course, so this year we couldn't do it again, the same travel issues, et cetera. So, but we'll see. All right. So, yeah. So, those, are the, was, those are the numbers. Now, many of you are just going to be tempted to you know take the season off and then hammer Mr. X in the playoffs because your playoff record documented on this show, on this podcast, three years, is, shoot, it's got to be up there near 20, 75%. 28 and 7. Yeah. That's, uh, well, that's 80. 87. 80 percent why why am i gonna mess with the regular season i'm just gonna wait i'm gonna lay oh, back see, where are you gonna get the money for the playoffs well that's true i need to build up my <laughs> war chest but i need to build it up with my 2018 touch or my 2020 touch because my 2019 touch was the touch of a rapist 35 well, percent wasting money left and right and as i always say you know, a lot of guys like to say, no, nah, you know, I want to do my own work. 
and you get paid the same no matter whose paper you copy off of. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so uh, let's get to the season totals. Uh, and what about the new 17-game impact? Well, you know what? It's This sounds kind of silly to think, oh, it's one more game. What's the big deal? The last week I've really div- dived into my totals, and it has a bigger impact than I thought. It's going to drive, you know, this is a parody league. What is it now? An eight and a half, an eight and a half league. It's going to drive parody even more because, you know, the format is basically, you know, it used to always be teams in a division played 14 common games. And then the last two, what I just label extra games, you know, the one seeds play the one seeds and the fours play the fours. And that's, you know, that, that drives us to the middle a little bit, you know what I mean? But this year they added the third extra game and it's also the seed. So when you start taking a team and giving them three extra games versus last year's champions, and then you take another team and give them three last place games, that's a hell of a difference in schedule. Um, even more so than in the past. I mean, that, that's just going to, you know, that's just really going to impact the over-unders for sure. And in real life, it's going to drive these teams closer to 500 than ever before. Does that make sense? It does. So yeah. it sounds like you're shading some of the high totals under, and you're going to shade some of the low totals over. Well, Sort of, but I would say more so than just the high or low is who are the bad ones? You know what? My screen just froze on me. But for example, take the Steelers. They won the division last year, but their three extra game, and that's a tough, you know, the, what do you call it? The North is a tough division. Their three extra games, I'm sorry, my screen's frozen, I think are Buffalo, Seattle. I can look it up. You want to see uh, You want to see the, uh, the the weighted portion of Pittsburgh's schedule? Yeah, well, um, what I'm trying to – yeah, I have, I have a who's, chart with every okay. game. But there's who's, three extra who's, – who's your, who, is, who is the dance partner divisions, AFC and uh, NFC so for – Pittsburgh, and then we can find that. Oh, out. here it is. Okay, my screen just unfroze. Okay, so you take Pittsburgh. So their dance partners are AFC West. Okay. Great division. Um, NFC North, not very good division. But then my wait, point wait, wait, is wait. So Do you were you being sarcastic about the AFC West? No, I think that's a very good division this year. The Raiders, Denver. The Raiders are the weak link. I think Denver Chargers are good teams. Chargers, okay. Yeah, I think it's an and, okay division. I think Denver's uh, I think just flat. Really? Yeah. Yeah, top to bottom. Um, and, they're, and their numbers show it. Only the NFC West is stronger. Um, you know, when you think when you look at the AFC and you start thinking about wild card teams, because, you know, you got maybe one out of uh, the Baltimore division, but you don't have them out of the Buffalo division or the Tennessee division. They're probably coming from the West. By the way, who's the worst division? Still the NFC East? Uh, I, no. It's, AFC they, South. I think they're outstunk by the um, AFC South. Yeah, Titans, Colts, Texans, Houston Jaguars. Together. I, you know, <laughs> aside from Green Bay, I think the bottom of the NFC North could be really bad. The That's Bears why I said breaking in a rookie quarterback. I think the Vikings are on the verge of a complete collapse this year. And the Lions, they're just going to be reliably the Lions. Yeah, they won't be quite as good as they were under Patricia. <laughs> right. <laughs> so so back to Pitt, the example is this. Okay, take a good competitive division with three teams, three decent teams. And they all play uh, 14 common games. Fine. Now we go to the extras. And the Steelers get Tennessee, Seattle, and at Buffalo. Ouch, ouch, and ouch. Three, three ouch, ouch. Then you turn to like Cleveland, and you know, and they get uh, Houston. What's left of the Patriots and the Cardinals? Well, that's a you know, it used to be those extra games were maybe a one game difference. Now you look at that and say that's a two or three game difference um, in 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 the wins in those extra games. That makes a big difference. So Pitt. Is gonna. I haven't finished, but Pitt is gonna be one of my unders because, okay. I mean, how how they're gonna be underdog in their three extra games, and you take a Cleveland, and they'll be a favorite in their three extra games. 
that's a big swing. By the way, I like Cleveland to win that division for just that reason. Because uh, they're, I, I guess I'm, I'm probably overstating this, but three extra games versus bad teams versus three extra games versus good teams, that's a that's a really big difference. Yeah, no, you're you're definitely right about that. So, all right, interesting. Can, can you just give us mm-hmm. one total in football? Just please. Mm-hmm. And then if you want more, go to callmemrx.com. Just give us one. Well, let's, yeah, sure. Let's stick with that. I don't think Pitt, I don't think Pitt gets to nine wins this year, no way, with the schedule they're playing. Even if they're a decent team, that schedule makes you worse. Um, their number's eight and a half, and I don't see it. Add to that what I think you said last week, that this team is close to falling apart. So there's a lot of ways they can lose. They can they can not fall apart and Still not get to that number. Um, so let's go with Pitt under. Okay. There you go. Uh, even though they bring in Najee Harris, big stud running yep. back out of uh, Alabama. Football season is back. Let's make the most of it with a better way to create your custom pool at runyourpool.com, the premier sports pool hosting service. Run Your Pool makes it ridiculously easy to run a football pool with friends, family, or office mates. They offer dozens of formats, including Survivor, Pick'em, Squares, Margin, Confidence Pools, 33, and a lot more. Run Your Pool hosts formats for NFL and college football with one-week games, full season, playoffs, or the Super Bowl. And unlike other fantasy sports platforms, they've got options and settings to make it your own. You can even brand your pool for your local business, bar, alumni, or restaurant. The NFL season starts September 9th, so check them out today and get $10 off at runyourpool.com slash podcast or use promo code podcast at checkout. Have your pool up and running in minutes at runyourpool.com slash podcast. Don't forget, today you get $10 off at runyourpool.com slash podcast. You like easy money? Well, thanks to my bookie and their lock of the season. If either team scores in the NFL season opener, you win. A game hasn't ended 0-0 since, well, World War II, so this is a sure thing. Head to mybookie.ag, select the lock of the season, and any team scores between the Cowboys and Tampa Bay Bucks, and you win! The best bet is the one you cannot lose. MyBookie is also playing host to several exclusive contests, including their $100,000 Super Contest, and it only costs $10 to enter. There's big money on the line this season, so don't wait to get in the game. Join now. Head to MyBookie.ag today and use our promo code ZABE and instantly receive double your first deposit. That's right, double your funds to double your winnings. Again, that's promo code ZABE, Charlie, Zulu, Alpha, Bravo, Echo, and receive double your first deposit and get started with MyBookie today. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with MyBookie. Okay, uh, what else about the NFL? Let me me tell you one more thing on that, for example. Yeah. Take the 49ers, a good team that everything went wrong last year, in an incredibly four-team balanced um, NFC West. That's the only division where any team in there could be first or fourth. You really can throw a net around those four teams. The Niners get the fourth place schedule. How do you like going to Philly, Cincinnati, and Atlanta? (laughs) I mean, that's a real um, separator between them and, you know, uh, you take like um, the Rams and they get Tampa and Baltimore. So that three games, I think, is really going to push everybody to nine and eight, eight and nine. Okay, fair enough. And by the way, uh, Jimmy Garoppolo played a partial season last year. Yeah. Due to injury. So there you go. Okay. Uh, Next up on the NFL front, what do we got? Well, um, how about some props? Okay. Well, this is, you know, my most NFL props I'm still working on. I can throw you a couple college since those get underway this weekend. I uh, really like North Carolina. Hold you, hold you, North Carolina to win the ACC at a ten to one shot. Okay, and the reason for that is simply over I Clemson. Know they, I know they got to beat Clemson in the title game, but they're in a two horse race to get to that title game. I think they're very good, and if they just win their division as they should over Miami, I got them at ten to one in that title game and. I'm okay with that. Okay. <laughs> Something could go wrong with Clemson, and that's not a bad spot to be. By the way, Alabama, Clemson, and Ohio State 
three of the top four teams ranked going into week one or zero, whatever week they're calling this, uh, all starting new quarterbacks this year because their old quarterbacks are in the pros and they're going to pretty much start within the first three weeks of the season. By the way, how do you feel about Mac Jones? Let me get a quick uh, quarter in the in the jukebox, uh, you being such a Belichick fan of yeah. what he did with Cam Newton. Surprised? Shocked. Shocked. Well, because – Shocker. Is- yeah, most people, when there's a, a roster cut in the NFL, they don't grasp the cap concern. And, you know, nine out of ten times, it's it's a money move. Cam was making nothing. He's not making Brian Hoyer money, okay? So this was not cap. And even if Jones wins the job, how you cut a, an incredibly low salary like Cam and go into the season with Hoyer and Stidham is, un- is unconscionable. As I said to a guy yesterday, you make a column of reasons Belichick you know, made a right move and wrong move, and everything you know goes on that this was a stupid move. And then in the good column, you say, uh, what is it, six or seven rings? Shut up and listen to them. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but, I mean, how do you go into the season with, you know, this is a, a league that needs backup quarterbacks, not to mention he's a rookie. This is um, this is a Malcolm Butler thing in that there's more to this than football, and I don't know that we'll ever know. By the we way, still don't know like Butler in the Super Bowl. You know what I mean? And did you see Butler officially retired this week? Yes. yes. And I thought, well, that secret is going to the grave with him, just like the secret of what was Charlie Weiss doing with the videotape signals when Brady was lighting the league on fire in the pre-snap routine. I guess that's going to go to the grave. What was on those tapes is going to the grave because those were stomped out by Roger Goodell's goons. And we still don't know the bottom of Deflategate. A lot of mysteries around with this team, swirling with this team, but they they seem to die. They keep a good lid on a lot of their mysteries. So maybe the Cam Newton thing will be the next one. By the way, um, when it comes to uh, Mac Jones, or no, I'm sorry, Cam Newton made $6 million apparently but it was tied to honors and how far the Patriots could advance in the playoffs. Incentives would have pushed his deal to $14 million. I haven't done the research on what he's actually going to walk away with. The base was $2 million, $1.5 guaranteed, and then there's a $1.5 roster bonus, which he won't get because he didn't make the roster. Oh, well, heck, the, the Washington signs their backup Heineke for $4 million. I mean, those numbers are nothing. Well, yeah. Now, Hoyer just, just signed a one-year, $1 million deal. So when you say he wasn't well, making Hoyer money, he actually kind of was making Hoyer money. Well, which tells you how far money. he's fallen. I read that I'm about the same. And and we all know Hoyer is he, he and Chase Daniels, same guy. They are the classic, perfect NFL backup quarterbacks as long as they don't have to go on the field. <laughs> yeah, no, they're they're great backups as long as you don't have to play them. I'll which play. is one of the biggest oxymorons out there. By the way, <laughs> remember that kid? Remember the commercial of the kid? who's talking to Cam Newton, little white kid on the playground. He's like, yeah, I want to grow up and play in the NFL. I want to play quarterback. I want to take your job. And now people are saying, it- Hey, Cam, thanks a lot for coming to my school today. No problem, Nate. I promise to exercise and eat right. Don't forget 60 minutes of play a day, right? And I'll grow up to be big and strong like you. Absolutely. And play in the NFL. Yes, sir. And be drafted number one. Maybe. And become the starting quarterback of the Panthers. <laughs> okay. You can be my backup. Excuse me? And make Panthers fans forget about you. <laughs> and become your mom's favorite player. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> the kids. I'm just loosening my arm. Very funny spot. Yeah. Is that a young Mac Jones? <laughs> I guess so. Somebody tweeted a picture of starter in New England, and it was Mac Jones looking his frumpiest, smoking a cigar after the national championship, shirtless, and then cut, and it had Cam Newton fresh off a grueling workout, chiseled like an American Adonis, which goes to show you, kids, it's quarterback. It is a cerebral, quick decision-making, accuracy-throwing position. It's not a bodybuilding contest. Yeah, it's uh, it, it, this one is. I, I you know I've been thinking where does he land because there are teams that should take him. There are teams that should Why? take him. He's great why? as long as you don't have to play him. He no no, he no ran, I, I meant Cam. I know, but why would you take Cam? He can't He's play. Still, he he put, I watched every Cam game last year. He was still a top twenty quarterback. Threw for under two hundred yards a game. 
had more mm. interceptions and touchdowns, had single-digit touchdown passes, ran for 12 touchdowns. It was one of the weirdest profiles ever. Didn't look That's sharp true. to me, but maybe you saw something more in him. As well, of right now, this recording, he's not picked up by anybody. That's correct. I have always hated that touchdown thing. Every time Aaron Rodgers Why? gets first and goal on the one, he throws it to Adams, and he's great. Cam runs it in from the five, and they say he doesn't throw touchdowns. Well, that doesn't matter. He gets in the end zone. So oh, I didn't know you were. Such I'm not a, saying I want him. No, you're such a Cam fan. Cam Stan. <laughs> no, I'm kind of Cam neutral. Okay, but I just think there's some bad quarterbacks in the league. I know, and there's some right. lazy analysis. I don't. I just don't think his arm strength is there anymore, and I think that pretty much has knocked everything in the equation of Cam Newton out of whack. And then when you get I get a guy who's a former MVP, you got to feel like he's comfortable accepting being the backup, and that's yeah. also tough. Yeah, every one of his teammates has always loved him. Has always I, said that. Bel- so. Belichick said he loved him, and he loved him up until the minute he goes, "You're out." Sorry. Yeah. Thanks, well, Cam. That's Feel Belichick. Exactly. Just like the dude uh, that got 210 yards. What's his name? Gray. That, that rookie. He got 210 yards and then overslept his next meeting, and they cut him. <laughs> Do you remember that guy? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Who was that for the Patriots? I want to say Jonas something. Something he he got over two hundred yards in his first game, and then he over- Jonas, one- Jonas that's Gray. That's it. Okay, and 30, he missed the meeting, and they caught him thirty-seven yards, or thirty-seven carries for two hundred and one yards. Sure. Never to be heard from again. Are you sure, are you sure he overslept a meeting? Yeah, oh, yeah he, says, he said his Jonas- alarm clock didn't go off. He missed the meeting, and he was gone. Yeah, Jonas Gray. Jonas Gray headline. Jonas Gray was not just benched for being late. And other leftover Patriot thoughts. So, yeah. That could have been more than that. All right. Uh, What other NFL things do we need to touch on right quick? Well, by the way, let me jump back to your college. I like Oklahoma to win this year. Not the big three you mentioned. They never win the big one. I know. This is a different Oklahoma (laughs) team. The first one that can play defense. This is the year, huh? I've made more money betting against Oklahoma in the final four than anything that's not named Rover and over. But <laughs> but here, I'm going to tell is, you, I could I could probably predict with 92% accuracy exactly what Oklahoma is going to lose this year. You ready? Let's go. Probably against Texas on October 9th. That'll be the first step on their dick type game. They're at Tulane, home against Western Carolina, home against Nebraska, home against West Virginia. And then at KS at Kansas State, and then home against Texas in the rivalry game. That's it. Right I don't there. See lost. <laughs> All right. No, they're 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 actually a better defensive club than Oklahoma's ever had, and that's just very non Oklahoma in the last ten years, you know. But we'll see. But I like them. Okay. Uh, let's see other storylines in college. I mentioned the fact that three of the top four uh, programs, at least in the rankings, are all replacing their quarterbacks. But, you know, this is what Alabama does, Clemson does. Clemson's got this guy, Ukulele, or DJ Ukulele. I still can't say his name. Uh, Georgia's fifth going into the year. Texas A&M, six. Iowa State, seven. Cincinnati, my boy Hatch, the Bearcat alum. They're a top 10 program. Could they be a spoiler? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> Notre Dame, nine. Carolina, who you kind of like, 10, Oregon, 11, Wisconsin, 12, Florida, 13, Miami, 14, SC, 15, LSU down at 16 preseason poll. They had a massive hangover year uh, yes. following Joe Burrow and all that talent leaving uh, with Coach O celebrating. You know, they won the national championship, and it was hard hangover the following year. Could LSU be back? They're going to be back, but not up in that, you know, top four or five range. Okay. I do expect them to be very good and compete in those games, not like last year, but the top four are still just too good. Indiana, Iowa, Penn State, Washington, Texas, Coastal Carolina, Louisiana, Utah, and Arizona State round out the top 25 according to the AP. I don't know what's going to happen, but I know this. At least three teams in the top 10 are going to end up out of the rankings at the end of the year. There's my bold prediction. 
three sure. of the top ten. The college football world is way more volatile now than it has ever been. And nil rights and the ability to pseudo pay players legally now is going to flatten it even further. Nobody really knows who's what anymore. And I think three of the ten out of the top twenty five entirely. That's that's very fair. I'll tell you that X two yeah. uh, has pounded hard Indiana to short. He likes them to go under seven and a half. Okay. Um, so they're top 20 that he says will not get there. And he also loves to short uh, Northwestern. I got more work to do on Northwestern, but I do like his Indiana. All right. Is there anything else to talk about as we get ready to wrap it up here on a Friday before the first week of the NFL season starting on Thursday? Anything else? Anything to promote? Remind people, go to uh, Mr. X's website if you want more information about levels of uh, engagement you can opt into. Uh, go to callmemrx.com. And, of course, every week here on Fridays, you and I will make our picks, and we told you to start the podcast. Here's what we've done so far. Caveat emptor. Could all go to shit tomorrow, but so far, it's gone okay. Pretty good. Really good for Mr. X. Okay for me. And I'm going to stick well, one game a week this year, I promise. Yeah, that's good. Let me uh, let me uh, throw a story at you real quick. When you and I first got together that first um, fall, and I was decided to finally get the website up and running, went over it with you, came up with this concierge, VIP service, all stuff, and you looked at me and said, "Nobody's going to sign up for that." And I said, whoa, "I whoa, don't whoa. really want them to." <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! I don't want work to do. Whoa, whoa, I'm doing whoa, the Jerry Maguire model. I don't whoa, want whoa. people to have to. Wait a minute! Did I really say that? Oh, you did. When we talked about it, and when when I told you what I was going to price it at, you said, "Nah, nobody's going to do that." And I said, "I don't want them to." So I don't need <laughs> bugging me. <Okay. laughs> <laughs> I, I, as I recall, Mister X, I did yeah. not discourage you from hanging a shingle for your services. Did I? Oh, oh no, no. You were all for I just it. thought I just well, thought your concierge it. service was a yes. little bit extravagant. Right, because it was I, I was promising a lot. And I didn't want to promise a lot to very many people. We don't, and I was like, Jerry Maguire, I want fewer clients, less money. <laughs> don't, I got enough to do. Great model. Nobody believes in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do. I like it. Okay. I don't need it. All right. Just a few guys that can afford to win. That's all we need. Okay. But it has gotten, uh, it is getting, it's getting big. It's getting a little hard to keep up with, but I'm trying. Last thought. What's Washington doing this year? You know, let's go back to how I opened. You know, this is an example of you, you look at Washington and you say, you know, their defense is top three defense. Um, that's a good way to win football games. Their quarterback is an okay quarterback. I've always said Fitzpatrick can make any team a 500 club, whether it's improving him to 500 or, <laughs> or dropping him to 500. That's true. But then you look at um, their schedule, and when you have to play the first place schedule, it's uh, really that's tough. not hard. When they add, they got to go to Buffalo and Green Bay and Seattle as their quote extra games. That's a huge edge for the Cowboys. Well, they get three, you know, average clubs, and Washington gets three, you know, number ones. It's hard to overcome that the difference of three games and win that division. So I think they're a much better club than Dallas, a better roster. But you got to play the games they assign you, which makes a huge edge to Dallas. But I think we're going to see them be good, but I think it's going to be a tough um, division for them to win given this new format. Yeah. And then uh, what do you think of the Packers? Well, it's nice when you're in a division where it's, you know, it's kind of like Green Bay is either going to win or lose. Nobody's going to beat them. Um, you know, I don't, I, I do not like Minnesota. Um, and that really, I mean, Green Bay could go 10 and seven and win that division easy. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to predict what they're going to do, but you know, they got plenty of time to get it together because that division is not going to challenge. All right. You are in Maine now or not? Yes. And you'll be there until two, when, roughly speaking? Well, I got about six more days here until winter starts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to be here for probably till November. 
Son of a bitch. So we'll we'll just have to do this by phone, but sounds like yeah. your connection is decent. You must be living somewhere with decent cell coverage. Yeah, it, yeah I'm standing on top of the pole. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm ready for a new season, Mr. X. Excited. Me too. Should All be right, fun. Bro. Take care. All right. See you. All right. And with that, I bid everyone a wonderful Labor Day weekend. I hope you have Monday off. I'm going to give myself Monday off from this podcast. Yes, I have. Hold on. Let me check. Hey, can I blow off Monday? Yes. All right. Sweet. Sweet. I just got permission. Anyway, hope you have a nice long weekend. I really appreciate everybody who has been subscribing in this past month. I know you're excited for football, and I'm going to deliver. I hope deliver in terms of the entertainment value and perhaps the informational value when it comes to picking games. And we're just going to have a rollicking good football season the way it was meant to be, not last year's awful, crippled, ridiculous, absurd, no-fans season that we had. As I like to say, let's do this. Time's up. Let's do this, as Leroy Jenkins once said, and let's go. Thanks for listening. Thank you as well if you are a subscriber. If you're not, zabe.com slash premium. You'll find out all the information right there. In the meantime... Break the tape with your chest on summer 2021, and we'll see you back here on Tuesday. You like easy money? Well, thanks to my bookie and their lock of the season. If either team scores in the NFL season opener, you win. A game hasn't ended 0-0 since, well, World War II, so this is a sure thing. Head to mybookie.ag, select the lock of the season, and any team scores between the Cowboys and Tampa Bay Bucks, and you win! The best bet is the one you cannot lose. MyBookie is also playing host to several exclusive contests, including their $100,000 Super Contest, and it only costs $10 to enter. There's big money on the line this season, so don't wait to get in the game. Join now. Head to MyBookie.ag today and use our promo code ZABE and instantly receive double your first deposit. That's right, double your funds to double your winnings. Again, that's promo code ZABE, Charlie, Zulu, Alpha, Bravo, Echo, and receive double your first deposit and get started with MyBookie today. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with MyBookie. It's JCPenney's Labor Day home sale, and the deals are hot. Get up to 50% off select furniture, mattresses, and window, and refresh every room in the house. Plus, shop doorbusters Friday to Monday while they last, like $6.99 select Field Crest bath towels and a Black & Decker food processor or a George Foreman grill, only $39.99 each. Or save an extra 25% with coupon across the store. Hurry and bring it all home for less. JCPenney. Doorbusters valid 9 3 to 9 6 and excluded from coupon. Offers and coupon valid through 9 6. Some exclusions apply. See store or jcp.com for details.